Virgo hello I am here with a much requested video where you want to know what's going on between your person and the third party or the other man or woman all right that they could be romantically involved with all right so we're gonna take a look at that remember this is your very own Virgo channel but you also have daily readings except for the weekend because I do need a break y'all um except for the weekend y'all have regular daily readings over at bright light tarot as well so let's take a look here for those of you who wanted to hear it if you don't want to hear it you can click off I still love you I understand you don't want to hear the drama but this was a requested video so I'm giving the people what they want okay all right what is going on between Virgo's person and the other man or woman that person is romantically involved with all right we're gonna get all the cards on the table first and then we'll take a look so we have a king of um, hearts some of you could be dealing with a water sign oops some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign some of you not everybody we'll take a look we'll take a look all right we have the three of of clubs and sh well give me one more what's going on between them okay show me where these two will be by New Year's <laughs> I'm just interested where will these two be by New Year's and of course we have to clarify so don't take anything at face value because clarification child that'd be bringing out the drama by new years by new years by new years all right okay so let's see how does this person feel about virgo how does virgo's person feel about virgo this time And what actions will they take toward Virgo by January 2024? And if you don't mind, Virgo, I'm going to get at least the starting to row out on the table before we... Um, keep going here which deck should i use i really love this hocus po hocus pocus hocus pocus deck however i usually only bring that out around halloween time so should i use the stranger things yeah this might be apropos <laughs> since we're reading about the third party we read about the third party god angel spirit guides ancestors ascended masters <sighs> Y'all so messy. Got me doing this messy reading. Mm-hmm. That's y'all. That's not me. That's y'all. All right. Tell me about this king of hearts. All right. So we have the two of wands. Let me move some of this out the way. Clarify the two of wands. All right. We have the, oh, the two of pentacles. The three of the three of clubs, the king of wands, clarify the king of wands, and we have the six of cups. Nope, sorry, the seven of cups. Let's see, in this deck, it, it scoops and spokes and strands, and it, I gotta remember what they are. Okay, the two of spades, let's clarify. Some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign, by the way, or a water sign. What do we have for the two of spades? We have the five of cups. And the six of wands. Okay. All right. So, um, what was that? The two, these two could be making some sort of future plans or trying to work something out well we're gonna get all into it my dear virgo so just bear with me here bear with me bear with me let's see the jack of clubs in the outcome by january between those two now of course things can change we got the ten of wands here ten of wands the three of cups the four of spades we have the three of pentacles 
and the Knight of Cups. So I ain't gonna lie, it does almost look like they're trying to they're trying to work something out still here. So this might be something that we have to take another look at on valent around Valentine's Day or something like that. But let's just see this person how this person feeling towards you. We got the six of hearts. Let's take a look at this. Clarify the six of hearts. Come on out, come on out. That was the four of pentacles in reverse. Clarify. And we have the two of cups. The six of spades. The knight of wands. Oh, that's a lot. That's too many, please, spirit. Clarify the knight of wands. The magician. Okay. The Ten of Cups or the Ten, oh, I'm sorry, the Ten of Hearts. So they have different meanings in this. All right, we have the Six of Cups. The Queen of Wands. Okay. And their next actions towards you, the Nine of Diamonds, is clarified by the Five of Pentacles. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. Um, the seven of, I'm sorry, <clears throat> the eight of pentacles and the six of swords. And then we have the 10 of clubs, clarify the 10 of clubs. We have the ace of cups. I'm sorry. Yeah. The ace of cups and clarify the ace of cups, the three of swords. Okay. So the page of wands is at the bottom of the deck. Let's get into your reading, Virgo. This should be interesting. I feel like I got to get one more with this ending in the Three of Swords here. <laughs> Even though the Ten of um, the Ten of um, Clubs is a good card that talks about um, improvement in a situation. Let's see what what is this Three of Swords? Just give me one more. And this person's next actions. Okay, so we have the Fool, and we have the the Fool, the Eight of Cups, and the Temperance. Okay, so healing. All right, bottom of the deck is the High Priestess. All right, we're going to take a look. We'll take a look. We'll take a look. All right, so... What do we have in the beginning? We have you could be dealing with someone with blue or green eyes. Not for everybody, but some of you. Just this person. What's going on between the this person and the third party? Okay, there is there is love there. Okay, there is emotion there. At least they think there is emotion there. <laughs> with the two of wands, it could talk about somebody making future plans, and the two of pentacles. I feel like these two people may be trying to come to some sort of compromise, trying to work things out, something like that, okay? Now, I will say this. Um, there is some confusion there, even though I do see them pretty much in a relationship for some of you with the King of Wands here. Now, don't come to me. They're not in a relationship. It's not. It's not. It's not. Then this ain't your reading. Calm down, all right? I think some people feel like if I do a reading, that's going to make it be their reality. And that's that's not the way this works. OK, you just resonate what you resonate with. You don't resonate what you don't resonate with. Stop applying this stuff to your life. So literally, OK, um, so you could be dealing with the fire sign. We have the king of wands. We have the seven of um, cups here where there's emotional confusion. Okay, it could be other options in the picture as well. Now, I will say this. The two of spades, it talks about problems in, in a relationship. So there, are some, there is an issue there, all right? When we got the five of cups and the six of wands. But it does look like with the five of cups, somebody... Um, is this the five of cups? Yeah. No, yeah. Somebody could be in regret about whatever problems they're having. Um, I know y'all want more details, so let's just go ahead and get into that. Let me see where there's that other deck at. I rearranged some stuff, y'all, so I could be more um, organized here. <laughs> At least I thought that's what I was doing. Now I'm looking for cards. Where are they? Mm. What are the 
of problems. I really wanted that Lenormand, that little Lenormand deck here. All right, well, I don't see it off rip. Where is it? I might have to pause and find it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause and find it. All right, I found it. All right, can you tell me more about what's going on here between this third party and Virgo's person? What this problem is? What's happening here? What is this problem going on in their relationship? What's the problem? I see ego for one. Somebody got a big old ego. So it could have something to do with travel. Could have something to do with distance. Okay. The sun. Success, victory. So maybe it's a problem having victory, having success, um, having happiness. Yeah, it's money. Look at that. The fish and the star. Somebody's want somebody wishes somebody else made more money or was more stable. Okay. Um so by January. We have this possible fire sign. It doesn't have to be, but it could be a young person, a very eager to please person, um, wanting to drop some burdens with the Ten of Wands, wanting to have some sort of like reunion or celebration. All right. Um, so with the four of, um, why do I always forget what that is? With the four of spades, honestly, this could talk about some sort of illness, isolation, or separation. All right, um, and it's paired with the three of cups and then I'm, the, I'm sorry, the three of pentacles and the knight of cups. So this person, somebody in this in that situation, by January, they're still trying to work it out. They still want to bring it back together, even if they're separated. That's what I see there. Okay, and we have old age and maturity here. Let's see, somebody's mother could be in the way. Somebody's mother or father could be giving advice. And we have clouds, confusion, negativity, unclarity, doubt, worry, uncertainty. So this is kind of teetering on the edge by the new year um, between the third party and your person. Okay, it's kind of teetering on the edge here. All right, so when we look at how this person feels about you, all right, what's strange is that this person it almost seems like they already know that that's going to end or something like that now for some of you this person is wishing happiness for you now I know that's not for everybody because we constantly have readings where your ex don't want you in no kind of happiness unless it's with them but for some of you you do have that person wishing you well now with the six of hearts here which could talk about being tricked or not not allowing yourself to be deceived um, maybe this person has a trust issue with you for some of you but we see this person opening up because we got the four pentacles they're releasing that tight hold they have over their heart okay and then we have the two of cups which tells me there is a strong connection between you and this person despite them being with a third party okay if it's a connection it's a connection it is what it is for some of you maybe you were never in a relationship with this person maybe you just like or love this person but they're connected to somebody else okay and you maybe you're watching this to see if you're going to have the opportunity to swoop on in there you know because you're not the type to be dealing with somebody who's dealing with somebody. So you, you're just waiting. All right. So we got the six of spades here. It talks about an ending, a natural ending for a new beginning. Now, remember, we're asking how this person is feeling about you. All right. So the nat natural ending for a new beginning. Then we got the six, the, the um, knight of wands here and the magician. So I feel like this person may feel like you're having a new beginning, like you're manifesting something. Virgo, here's your energy here. Gemini and Virgo energy fire energy here yet again Leo Sag Aries and the ten of the ten of hearts which talks about an enjoyable surprise enjoyable surprise or happiness here with the what is that the six of cups and the queen of wands you've done some sort of changing here my dear Virgo you're looking really good this person is still very attracted to you okay and they also miss you this person misses you a lot okay so let's see show me more about this here 
So we have the clover, luck, gambling, opportunity, chance, hope, small happiness. And then we have the moon, praise, feeling emotional. So I feel like this person is hiding their emotions. They still have emotions for you. They're missing you. And they are still hoping that there's a small chance you all could redeem this. Okay. Um, so when we look at their next actions towards you, we're looking at this nine of of diamonds right here right this is some sort of high hopes that this person is having so we see their hope growing as clarified by the five of pentacles because this person is feeling left out in the cold the eight of the eight of cups and we have the six of swords this person is moving on from that towards you however just make sure it's not a rebound thing or that this peop this person is just feeling like left out in the cold so that's why they're not that's why they're coming towards you here all right because the but it does talk and improve talk about an improvement in the situation so this person i wanted to make sure this three of swords wasn't this person coming towards you with her heartbreak and pain i don't think that's what this is but i do feel like with the temperance here you have the eight of cups shown they walk away from something else and the fool a new beginning with you i do feel like this person is still healing from something that they did try to make work with somebody else and for whatever reason they couldn't make it work now there was confusion negativity it was unclear where they stood with this person so it could have been a lot of stuff involved in that situation as to why that didn't work out okay the third party could have had a third party i don't know but money or stability was definitely a thing okay show me about this the next actions here got the key unlocking answer destiny openness solution fulfillment so if you're wondering if this person is going to be back around to you, I feel like this person will be back around to you, but I do feel like they will be on the tail end of, of something ending. And we have the ring promise, commitment, partnership. So bottom of the deck is the change movement, new beginning energy. So I do feel like this person will be back around, but I do feel like this person went and got very disappointed in another situation. All right. Um, I will also make sure that there is, we do see something about an ending here, um, but we also want to make sure that this person makes it very clear <laughs> to the third party that they did try to work things out with at one point, that it is over between them and that they're beginning, you know, with you or that it's over or i don't know what they want to tell them i don't know that's their business okay where is my little evil third party deck <laughs> even though the circumstances may not be all that serious but let's see what your person may have been dealing with here um we may get some messages from the third party as well with this deck here all right god angel spirit guides ancestors of city masters Virgo's person in the third party. All right. Jaded and settled. Okay. I do kind of feel like maybe this third party is very material driven. They may have thought they were getting more than what your person could actually offer them. And even if your person could offer them a lot, maybe they demanded more and more and more and more it just wasn't nothing nothing was good enough you know and this person feels like they settled okay all right spirit is keeping me away for a reason now it's possible your person has to go through some sort of um lesson okay they got to go through some sort of lesson all right and so spirit is like doing what spirit does you know Spirit may be trying to bless you or keep give you a lesson. All right, we have, I don't care about your masculine's happiness. I'm trying to tell you that's what I'm getting from this person. It's not that your person didn't try to make it work. However, I do feel like there's kind of an egotistical or selfish energy from the third party, okay? I'm going to turn that over because it's kind of, kind of bloody, okay? Let's see what else we get here. Tell me more, tell me more. Very interesting. 
Um, I have psychological issues. <laughs> I don't know if that's the third party. That's your person. Take it as it resonates. Um, I make him ghost you. I make him block you. Mm -hmm. So if you have been blocked or ghosted by this person, it's possible the third party is going through the phone saying, um, you better not call him. You better not call her. Whatever. Because it says him, but I understand some of you are males and dealing with females and just, just take it as it resonates for you. Um, I buy, I buy your masculine's love. So this person or your person may be trying to use money to try to money or gifts or something to try to keep your person. Um, or in when your person, if your person tries to leave or something, maybe this person will be like, well, money's not such a big deal anymore. I play the role of the divine feminine. So for some of you, this person may have convinced your person that they are the divine feminine or masculine. Okay. Like, oh, we're meant to be together. Blah, 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 blah. Oop. Um, let's see. Spirit baby helping divine masculine. I don't really know what that means, honestly. I'm going to turn that over because there's a baby there. <laughs> All right. We have, I want you to give up on your twin flame. So for some of you, if you're dealing with the twin flame, um, this person, the third party, wants you to just throw in the towel. Some of you have. And honestly, that's not helping this person because if this is a twin flame, if you've withdrawn your energy or you stop chasing and you are just practicing self-love, it may actually draw your divine masculine or feminine to you rather than have the opposite effect. So let's see what else we have here. We have, I'm done. I'm ready to leave this karmic cycle. And that's where we see your person at. They're ready to leave the karmic cycle. At some point, time is fluid. So, I mean, you know, it could be, it could be later. It could be now. It says, I constantly lied to your divine masculine is at the bottom of the deck. So this, this person could be dealing with a liar or somebody who doesn't keep their promises. But hey, Virgo, to me, that's not your problem. You're looking good as the Queen of Wands over here with lots of confidence. Maybe you've moved on. Maybe you're losing weight. Maybe you, I mean, you're just getting yourself, you're on the glow up. You're on the glow up. So anywho, I'm going to leave it here, my dear Virgos. Interesting reading. Um, I would urge you not to give a dang about what's going on between them, but I know some of y'all wanted to know. So like I said, I give the people what they want. Um, I think I'm going to do a weird reading for your next reading. Like we're going to look at what weird, weird things in love could be coming up for you. Strange things. Okay. Maybe strange to some and not for others, but we're going to look, we're going to try to dig a little bit. Like subscribe, hit the bell notification. So, you know, when I go live, I love you, my dear Virgos till next time. Bye-bye.